Hello gamers, it is I, Joshua Lara, and today marks the fourth anniversary of one of the best Nintendo Switch games of all time, and the most creative Mario game ever since Super Mario Galaxy back in 2007. And that game is none other than Super Mario Odyssey. Now Super Mario Odyssey is my most favorite game of all time, and I just really, really love this game with a passion. It's pretty much everything we wanted in the Mar past Mario games combined in one. And if anything, it's all the 3D Mario games combined and we got this gem. And in today's video, since it marks the 4th anniversary of this beautiful game, I'm going to be talking about why I love this game so much. And I'm pretty sure many people love this game as much as I do. But I just love it so much. It's, it's the perfect Mario game. And I just love it. It has so ma many fun things in it, and you just really can't go wrong with it. There cannot be a single person who has a Switch and doesn't have this game. Everyone who has a Switch needs to have this game. It's a must-have. Even after four years of it being on the system, it's still one of the best games of all time. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I forgot to wear this. It's my trusty Super Mario Odyssey cappy hat that I got on the launch day of Super Mario Odyssey. And man, do I remember that day like it was yesterday. Like seriously, it still feels like this game just came out yesterday. Its release was in 2017, and when the game came out, I went nuts. And I just had to wait like a few days to buy it, and I just could not wait. I just really wanted to play the game, and now I've been playing it for the past four years, and it still remains one of the best video games of all time. At least in my book. Since today's the 4th anniversary of Super Mario Odyssey, I decided that in this video I'm just going to be going over all the reasons why I love the game and just everything about the game, just literally everything. And I'm going to tell you all in this video why Super Mario Odyssey is a masterpiece and why I just really love it. I mean, the game itself does so much right. It literally does everything we wanted in a Mario game and just thrown into it. And that's just my opinion. You may not agree, but I certainly don't disagree that this... I mean, you all... Everyone can't disagree that this game is pretty great. Like, it's probably one of the best Mario... I'm just repeating myself over and over, but it's true. This is just really one of the greatest games of all time. And I feel not a lot of people really talk about it th that much these days because it's already four years old. But it's just, every anniversary I just have to talk about this game. It's literally a masterpiece and I just really love it. But let's just dive into the game and I'll tell you all why I just love it so much. To me, Super Mario Odyssey is literally a dream come true. As I said before, it's literally every 3D Mario game that was made in the past and it just took everything that was good about them and just combined them into one. And we got Super Mario Odyssey, and of course the results will just really brought me to tears because this game just really proved itself to actually be one of the best Mario games ever. I mean, the game actually took advantage of the Nintendo Switch's hardware and pretty much did literally everything that the Nintendo Switch could do. Like seriously, I remember the first time I, I saw the trailer for the game back when the Nintendo Switch wasn't even out yet. They had like a Nintendo Switch presentation back in January of 2017 and I just remembered when the trailer got revealed and I literally wanted to cry because the game it just looked so beautiful and it wasn't even released yet. And what really grinds my gears is the fact that the trailer was revealed yet they didn't actually reveal literally everything about the game. Like in the first trailer they didn't reveal the whole capture ability or anything they didn't introduce a whole lot to the game that already was inside it. I mean, it was of course the first trailer, so you can't expect them to show literally a lot of stuff in the first trailer already. But when I just saw the trailer, I was like, oh my gosh, this is, this is the Mario game we needed. And we got it, and it definitely delivered. Not to mention, the reveal trailer for Odyssey is literally the most popular video on the Nintendo YouTube channel. It has way more videos than the system is on, actually. I mean, obviously no offense to all the past 3D Mario games like 64, Sunshine, Galaxy, 3D Land, and 3D World, but Odyssey literally takes the cake for my favorite 3D Mario game of all time, and favorite Mario game in general. 
And if your first video game or Mario game was Super Mario Odyssey, you it would definitely be worth it. Because, I mean, obviously I of course played tons of Mario games before Odyssey's release. And many people claim to say that Odyssey was their very first experience in gaming or with Mario. But yeah, if it was either one of those, you definitely really loved it, I could tell. Like, the game sold so well on the Switch, and it's still selling well to this day, along with other great Nintendo Switch games. Like, I literally play this game every month just to remember how much I love it. Now let's get into even more reasons as to why Super Mario Odyssey is my favorite game of all time. Odyssey breaks the world record for the most creative and genius kingdoms in any Mario game. I mean, just look at the amount of kingdoms you get to explore in this game. The very first kingdom you of course head into when you first start the game is of course Bonneton, aka the Cap Kingdom. And just by playing in that world just really gets you excited for what you're about to experience in this game. I mean, just look at the amount of kingdoms you got in this game. There's just so much variety into it. You got New Donk City, which is the Metro Kingdom, Toast Arena, the Sand Kingdom, Mount Valbano in the Luncheon Kingdom, Steam Gardens in the Wooded Kingdom, Bonneton in the Cap Kingdom, Fossil Falls in the Cascade Kingdom, Shiveria in the Snow Kingdom, and of course Bubble Lane in the Seaside Kingdom. And there are way more kingdoms than that. I've only gone over a few of the kingdoms that are in this game. This game just has so much variety and just a lot of interesting and unique kingdom ideas and you could just explore them all the time. Oh yeah, and did I mention you can go to the flipping moon? Yeah, we're literally out of this world. Yeah, you could sue me for that bad pun. My favorite kingdom in the game has to be New Donk City because it's just it's just so very well made it perfectly represents a city especially New York and it's just fun like cruising along and just riding the scooter in the city it's just really great and I'm just surprised it took Nintendo till now to make like a city kingdom in uh, like a 3D Mario game New Donk City is just really fun to just run through Seriously, you will have a blast going through all the kingdoms and collecting all the power moons. Oh yeah, the power moons. Can't go off without them. In each of the kingdoms that the game has to offer, there are so many power moons you have to collect, and they definitely play a major role in this game. There are actually a total of 850 power moons in the game, but the highest amount of power moons the counter actually goes up to is 999, which is pretty ridiculous. And collecting all of them isn't going to be an easy task, so you might want to do all you can to get all of the power moons in the game. And just all of the unique and clever spots that they just placed all of the moons in this game is pretty fantastic. You'll of course need to capture one by possessing an object or an enemy or just defeating a boss. Because as I said before, collecting all of them isn't going to be easy. But you'll definitely want to take your time finding all of the moons. Because the game does have lots of unique rewards once you get them all. And there are so many secret spots where they hit power moons too. So you may just want to do everything you can to get them all. There's also the hint art where you might have to take a picture of it with your Nintendo Switch. And then you'll have to go to a different kingdom and see if that said hint art is taken where the picture was from. But even though this game does have a bunch of basic spots to hide power moons at, they do actually do a good job of hiding them. And when you advance through the game, the hiding spots and just places that they put the power moons get even more clever and clever as you go. Another good thing that they do is actually have you give help if you're stuck with finding some power moons like you can talk to the hint toad and the parrot and uncle amiibo and they can assist you in helping helping you get some power moons the parrot's name is Takatu, in case anyone's wondering and of course much like many other mario games out there where they have you collect certain objects to advance through the game 
They, I'm pretty sure many Mario games will have that in the future, but Odyssey's is definitely one of the best. That actually ties into the next point that I'm making, the fact that this game has a bunch of fun and cool mini-games you can play. Odyssey has fun little mini-games and challenges you can do throughout the kingdoms when you collect power moons. There's of course the race car challenges that you'd see in New Donk City where you just take control of a human being and you just play with his little race car toy. There's even a racing version of the RC car challenge which is definitely just as fun or even if not more fun. I mean heck it reminds me of Mario Kart. I mean, it even plays the Mario Kart music, and just racing with it in this racetrack is just really amazing. There's also the spinning slot machines where if you exchange 10 coins, you can be able to play this little casino-like game, and you can even earn some power-ups, or even a power moon if you're just really good at it, like me. There we go. There's also little mini games where they reference Mario's past, like this one where you have to find little moon shards and you just go around playing World Dash 1 collecting all of them. Basically a blast from the past. And lastly, there are these subsections where you just go through like little obstacle courses and you just test out your skills and see how good you are at playing the game. And there are of course way more challenges than this, I just went through a few of them. This game just has so much to offer in it, it's just really cool. This game just perfectly resembles Mario and the games in particular. And if you never played a Mario game and you, like what I said before, if this was your first Mario game, it definitely would be a great experience to have you play even more Mario games that you didn't know already. And it's just one of the best looking Mario games out there. And you could just basically pull off a bunch of cool moves like with what I'm doing right now. Odyssey really is a dream come true. Super Mario Odyssey is literally the king of when it comes to Super Mario soundtracks. Like if you haven't listened to the soundtrack of this game, what is wrong with you? This game just has a bunch of awesome music tracks in it and I actually listen to Jump Up Superstar every month because that this is actually the very first Mario game to have like a full lyrical song for its main theme. All the kingdoms, all the little uh, challenges and stuff, just literally everything about the soundtrack in this game is 100%. And just listening to it over and over just makes me realize how much I just really love this game. And even the music that plays when you're fighting Bowser in the Cloud Kingdom is definitely really fantastic to listen to as well. All the pieces, little pieces of music in this game are just awesome. And believe me, there are way more reasons as to why I love Super Mario Odyssey. The things I just went through are just only the few parts of what makes this game really enjoyable for me. There's the insane amount of boss battles that literally make this game just a masterpiece. The great little costumes you can wear throughout the game and just in all of the kingdoms and just the games that they reference is just really awesome. Just all the unique abilities and just awesome controls that you could just be allowed to do throughout this game. Like you could just, you're hopping and you're bopping and you're just rolling around at the speed of sound just all over this game. And that reason alone just makes this game just really fun to just run through. And I've seen many people like speed run through the game and it's just really nice. Just all of the fun and lively characters that you meet throughout the kingdoms. And it's just really cool because once you beat the game they do show up all over the kingdoms. And yeah it just makes this game even more lively. Just look at the amount of characters on screen right now. It's just so fulfilling. There's also a lot of in-game bonus content that you can get just by collecting a lot of the power moons that are just scattered all over the kingdom. And like I said before, it's not easy getting them all, and you could just take your time and just getting all of the power moons and just, yeah. And this game just has a lot of great replay value because once you get like all of the power moons and get like the bonus content, you could just get to like the dark side and the darker side of the moon and of course the mushroom kingdom which unlocks right when you complete the final boss. 
And yeah, this is actually one of those games where you compl you completed the story mode, but there's just tons more to do. I just really love those kind of games, and Super Mario Odyssey definitely delivers its expectations. Like, back when the game was announced, I knew it was going to be amazing, and when I played it, I, I was right. Because it's just, this game's just really a blast. And I know I'm literally not the only one who thinks Mario Odyssey is the best Mario game ever. I mean, people may think I'm crazy, but I, I'm willing to give Super Mario Odyssey a 10 out of 10. I think it's a perfect Super Mario game, and it just perfectly resembles literally everything. And with all the little uh, replay value, there's also like those little purple coins you can get throughout the levels. And yeah... Alright everyone, well that was all the reasons that I have for you all about why Super Mario Odyssey is my number one favorite Super Mario game, and it always will be. Nothing will get me to hate Super Mario Odyssey. It's a really fantastic game. I just love it so much. There's nothing can get me to hate this game. Super Mario Odyssey is a really fun experience. I actually consider myself the number one fan for Super Mario Odyssey. That might just be going a little bit overboard. This game is just fantastic. Alright everyone, well that's pretty much all I have to say. Happy 4 years to Super Mario Odyssey. It'll always be my number one favorite Mario game of all time, no matter what. Unless if Nintendo makes a 3D Mario game, which is better than this, but I highly doubt it. So yeah, that's all I have to say. Super Mario Odyssey is a great game. Happy 4 years. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Now please, Nintendo, make Super Mario Odyssey 2. I need it.